in this tutorial on how to edit with Filmora, I am going to teach you guys that how to create a futuristic holographic Instagram using Filmora. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for more amazing tutorials that are yet to come. A little note before starting, remember to record yourself in a way so that you looks like you are using the Instagram in the air or as a hologram style. Then screen record your phone using any screen recorder. I would suggest Mobizen as it is the best right now. A little tip, while recording the screen of your phone, remember to match it with the main recording of yourself. Once everything is done, head over to Filmora. At first, drag the main clip of yourself into the timeline, then adjust it to the position where you are acting. Now play it so that you can able to confirm that this is the right part and delete the rest. Then put the screen recording into the PIP track and cross check for the right one. Once you are sure that everything is in order, you can start the editing. Now a little note before proceeding further. In the next segment, I am going to show you something known as motion tracking. Now since I recorded myself doing this, so I have to show it to you. If you want, you can just simply make a static still video like this one or you can add some motion to it to make it look more natural. Now I am dragging the PIP track to the right side as my video motion is on that side. But if I play it, then my main video is in the opposite. So to correct it, just simply double click on the main timeline video and using this, flip it. That's all. Now right click on the PIP track and go to the green screen here. If you have black sidebars like mine, then remove them. Or you can directly apply a compositing to the PIP track. Choose the composition which suits best for your video. Like for me, hard light will do the job. Now I am adding a border to this video which is black in color. You can add whatever color you want to or you can simply skip this part if not needed for your PIP track. Now slightly enlarge the PIP video like this. Here I am adjusting the colors of main clip so that it complements my PIP track. Now I am doing some extra adjustment in the PIP track. Remember to make the videos in sync. Well sometimes while recording. A good sync does not happen. So you need to sync manually. But before syncing these clips I am going to show you the motion tracking. But before syncing these clips since Filmora does not allow a motion tracking. I am going to show you how to do a manual motion tracking using Filmora. Now I am going to the point where I will start pushing it with my hand and then at that point I will split the PIP track. Now I am trimming here so that you can see it clearly. Now I am going to the point where my hands will stop pushing and then split the PIP track there. Also trimming this side too. Now I am expanding the timeline into a frame visuals. Now see this clearly. Using the right arrow key, I am going forward one frame and then splitting it. Now for the next whole PIP track, I am dragging it 
to the left slightly and in a straight line motion. Again, one frame forward and a split and dragging it a little more. If it goes other than a straight line, you can just simply use this icon to go a step backward and then redo the frame tracking. I am adjusting every single frame according to my hand motion. Now, once my hand is still, I am splitting the last frame. Now I can delete this PIP track and then using this last frame, I can hold extend this part so that I don't have to readjust the last segment. Now if I render this and play, then here you can see the motion tracking happen. Now this part is simple, adjust both the PIP and the main track in a sync so that when you swipe with your hand, the swipe should also happen in the PIP track. Well, you can only achieve this if you have recorded both the screen and yourself in a sync manner. And once everything is done, you can export this into a video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos like this for you. Till then, see you later.